Hey everyone, Jeff Cole for Seattle Bliss. Today we're checking out uh, Gorilla Glue number four from Green Chief. And we're gonna give this a try and we'll get back to you in just a little bit. Hey, hey. Hi. So what are we smoking today? We are, that was Blue Dream. I gotta put the Blue Dream away. Okay. Um, today we're smoking Gorilla Glue number four. And, and is it a sativa or an indica? Um, it's a sativa. It it it's okay. um, it comes from. So a sativa a, does what? All right, sativas are the ones that are for more. The, for those of us just the, joining us and don't know anything. So. Sativas are the strains that are more energizing. Um, they they liven things up. They they tend to. So. Make you happy. So Gorilla Active. Glue number four, and is there a Gorilla Glue one, two, and three that are in stores, or is it okay, just okay. number four? Very good. good. That's that's great that you should ask. Um, okay. The reason why this is called Gorilla Glue number four is because Josie Wales, this this guy that he he's a grower, and he Josie Wales. Now I thought that was a Clint Eastwood character. Okay, well I'll put the spelling on the screen for you. Um, okay. Josie Wales intentional intentionally okay. used this he's it's a pseudonym okay. he's, um, once upon a time it wasn't very legal to be oh. growing this way Ooh, so okay. uh, so anyway Josie <laughs> Wales uh, he, he had some plants he, he popped some seeds well let me back up just accidentally here he accidentally had um, uh, some pollination occur. okay I'm gonna just eat I'm gonna Try a, yeah. Try a little smoke. Okay. He had some pollination <laughs> occurring in his in his garden. He had uh, he had one of his one of his plants hermaphrodite on him, and pollinate the other the plants in the room. And he had one female out of several number four of the four that turned out really nice. And uh, and so it's gorilla glue number four. So the reason why we see so much of this in every single store, and it seems like every single grower is growing this stuff, because it's so hardy in our northwest, moist, uh, okay, you know, it's, it's so humid, it's damp. Okay, so do you know how old this here. strain is? Um, no, I'm I'm not certain how old this is. Okay. Sorry, but anyway, it's got distinguishing characteristics, so that the grower can know that he's got the the real deal. Um, I, I, I got some pictures from from some friends that are growing it right now um, and anyway this particular one is from Green Chief and as far as Gorilla Glue goes it's it tastes nice you want to taste some sure. some of the terpenes in this sure. thing And here on the first bowl, we're not going to taste a whole lot of terpenes, but we will in the second bowl. That's when our, our taste and smell will really be activated by THC. Terpenes that we're tasting. Oh, I, just, I can't taste anything yet. Why not? Uh, oh, well, right now, we're, we're fairly new smokers, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and so we're, we're still raw. We're overwhelmed by the power of a lot of these flavors in here and so the one that overwhelms us and especially me anyway it's like every single time I smoke I say it's, it's like fuel you know, diesel fuel possibly other kind of combustibles but it makes sense that's what we're we're doing here we're combusting something okay so we're gonna taste it So here, yeah, see I can taste it now. We've been smoking long enough. Um, sweet, a um, little bit fruity, but <coughs> it's one that I, I'm not really familiar with yet. <laughs> we know what my fave is. We know what your fave is. And you said this was a standard. It's, yeah. it's a standard. Yeah, you're gonna find it in it. Practically every retailer in the state is gonna carry somebody's Gorilla Glue number four, um, and you don't have to call it number four, but understand that it's the grower himself called it Gorilla Glue number four because 
plant number four was the one that he chose. I know, they're everywhere. There's, they're all over the place. It's daunting to try and figure out what, you know, your first visit to a shop is like, oh my God, it's terrifying. <laughs> what well, do I buy? It, it so. can be scary, and that's why we're making this series. We want people to be educated on, on how to know which one's more for them and, and what each different strain is going to, what to expect, you know. What? Uh, I don't know if I like the strainer. Okay. Yeah. It, I I feel kind of silly or goofy. Well, that's you're used to smoking. Maybe it's the time one Gorilla that Glue. I mean, you think it's circus. You, a you think about uh, you know what? I thought of the banana splits. <laughs> hey, Randy, where are you? Okay. Uh, um. Well. Yeah, you can expect Na this too. Names, the names of different strains, they're, they're all over the place. And the reason why they chose Gorilla Glue for this one is just that it was it was making the trimmer's scissors really, really sticky. And oh, it's like Gorilla Glue, you know. And there's a branded product out there called Gorilla Glue. And this isn't that product. But hey, it's fun. That's what we names are all about is they're, they're supposed to be fun. Okay. 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 Well, um, we yeah, we had a good time with this one. We've got oh some upcoming events. We've got uh, on 10-22, October twenty second. Uh, let's see. Go to to the music page on SeattleBliss.com and you'll see West Spate and the Apollo Proxy are going to be playing at Substation Seattle. So we're going to be there to check them out, and we hope you will too. We'll, we'll share a little bit of video with you after afterwards but maybe we'll see you there I've done one thing what I can't do this high well I've only got one bowl and we're about to have some more no. and, and give it a good taste no. um, yeah yeah we have to give it a this good taste this is embarrassing alright this is the only time that we're going to make you get high on camera okay, okay. Okay, we're not gonna make her get high on camera anymore. Well, that'd be a good example to to those of you who have that have never experienced cannabis. So. And and I've shown you me getting high on camera several times. And and you can see I get a little bit tongue tied. I some strains make me into a real chatterbox, but uh, you know I just love talking about weed. So um, All right. anything else? Okay, until next time, please like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. And we'll see you next time on Seattle Bliss. Bye-bye.